Hello, you amazing crafters out there, you lovely viewers, and you beautiful subscribers. I'm Neri Mothra, but you call me Neriam. Today, I've been itching to do this for a very long time, ever since I saw it. And it will be the floating islands. <laughs> uh, I watch a lot of YouTube, a lot of creators make amazing floating islands, and I was like, I want to do that. And I've been racking my brain how to do it myself, because um, a lot of people have different methods. And I want to try and do it as cheap as possible. I mean, some people use resin to have the waterfall uh, to do the standing, which I'm thinking of doing that, but without the resin part. Uh, I might do it as hot glue waterfall instead. If you haven't seen my little fountain that I've done, then I'll link it up here or the description below. But first things first, the island, and you're thinking, that's a bit small for an island, I know, I know, so calm down, keep your pants on, this will be the bottom, the ethical bottom of the island, and then once I've cut that out, then do it another stencil, bigger and bigger and bigger, until you get a big one. Uh, on top of the island, I was thinking my normal ruin slash wild, you know, themed island kind of thing. For me, personally, I love the whole ruined island, lost, because I am very bad at building. <laughs> If you haven't seen some of my buildings to make an actual building, then you know how bad I am. <laughs> but I, I would try my best. I would try my best. Um, I've got some like coloured clay as well, so I might make a nice little little tree. But um, that is what I'm going to do, and I shall stop talking and just get on with it. And uh yeah. Now for the fun part Benny Benny but I recommend you be safe doing this. I will not stop saying this because it's dangerous. 
And if you're young and inexperienced, like me, I'm an idiot. So there you go. But um, this can be very hot and very dangerous. So I can't say it enough. So just be careful if you have one of these wood burning kits, you know. And uh, yeah, just just be safe. And I'll shut up now and carry on. It would be a good idea if I turned it on. <laughs> This is what I got so far. It's dried ish. I'm going to paint it now. Um, black first with glue, just to give it some more harden, give it that more secure, you know, for all the joints. That's why I did with the pig mache, it's just, just a uh, all the lines that is connected with all the layers just to come one if you know what I mean but yeah uh, the two holes for the water would be there what I'll probably be doing is like partially leaving it black just to make it like into a void and then lighten it in the edges you know you know it's more close to the entrance kind of thing and then Waterfall, waterfall. Um, my first thought when I'm doing the waterfall was just a big stone covered in hot glue, making it look like a splash. But then I've got another idea: is getting some smallish, medium, you know, different size rocks, and you can like see poking from the from the water you know splashing you know from from the water kind of thing that's what I'm thinking of doing I'm not too sure yet I'm still trying to make up my mind about it but other than that I'm gonna paint this now and I'm gonna shut up
Right, I decided that I'm going to glue a bunch of stones together and like what I described before, waterfall getting on and then splashing on the stones. So I've found random rocks when I was taking my dog out for a walk yesterday and uh, got some interesting ones. So that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to just crack on with it.
And here we have it. The floating island. Which I believe turned out really cool. I absolutely love it. I was really worried that I couldn't figure out how to make it, you know, float. But two skewers, hot glue, a lot of hot glue, and hey diddly do, you have a floating island with a beautiful waterfall going down it. Uh, the white foam I did out of baking powder. Yep, baking powder. White glue. Um, uh, well, any kind of glue. But I've got clear glue, so PVA clear glue is in the UK. And and just a bit of paint, but if it kept a bit to, I don't know, dry or something. You can always add a bit more glue just to give it a bit more wet to apply it better, which did quite wonders on here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it too. And if you have, please subscribe, make a comment, uh, or give that bell a notification so you won't miss any of the videos. But other than that, if you got any tips or anything, if you think I could possibly make anything better, let me know. I mean, I do appreciate any tips that you would give me, even if it might be a bit harsh, then I will take it hard because I want to get better for you guys. I want to be able to give you guys the best of my abilities, if you know what I mean. And uh, I am rambling on. <laughs> so, without other ado, I thank you with all the bottom of my heart. I mean, living at 49 subscribers right now and I am <laughs> I'm over the moon right now so for all of you that are subscribed thank you I really do appreciate it and hopefully in the future more will join the club I wonder if I can make it some sort of I don't know the Mothra gang <laughs> no that's terrible <laughs> But anyways, I'll give you the close-up now, and I'll see you next time. Bye!